Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to do a Valentine's makeup tutorial with you. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to start off with my number 7 Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Sun Protection SPF 50. This will give you, give me a lot of protection from the sun. This is going to act as my moisturiser today. Then I'm going to use primer on top of this. This is just to give me some protection. And don't forget the neck area. And I'll do the top of my head and around my eyes. Just need a bit more. Then going with my number seven airbrush airbrush away radiance Bru boosting primer. Take a bit like that, put it on either side of the face. I'm going to use more than this. This is just to get me started. gives me a lovely glow and I use this before I use Trini London's BFF SPF 30 protection which gives you a glow underneath the makeup gives me a glow gets your skin perfectly prepped for doing makeup A bit, a bit more to do around the eyes. So when I do the concealer, it won't crease. Gently with the ring finger, just tap it on. Just go around the face a bit. Make sure it's all in. Then my Trini London BFF Cream Skin Perfector SPF 30 Protection. I'm going to take around three pumps. So there's a bit of a hair on it. Okay. One, two, three. Could distribute it between two of my hands and go like this. It gives you a lovely glow. I can't need to get a shade that's lighter than this though, I think, because I do have a very light skin tone. But I am going to put BB cream over the top of this. This is just to give me a base glow underneath the BB cream and all of the other makeup that I'm going to do. Apologies for the hair. Then I'm going to use the number seven Beauty Balm Tinted Skin Veil, which also has some protection in it. 
in it but I just I prefer to use you know skincare for some protection because that way you know make sure you get enough because makeup doesn't always give you the protection you need This is just a tinted moisturiser because I don't need much makeup with my skin. Don't need a heavy coverage. Especially since I'm wearing my best colours now. I remember when I used to wear colours like this warm green, I used to feel like I needed more makeup because the colour didn't suit me. And yellow was just awful against my skin. Okay. All around the face. Gently around the eyes. Now, do an extra bit around the eyes. Here. And now I'm going to do the eyeshadow before I use my concealer and mascara palette which has purples in it from Revolution. I'm going to use this one all over the lid. Put that on. I'm going to go deeper towards the outer corners once I have this eyeshadow on. Sorry, I just need to see what I'm doing with the mirror in front of me. Because unfortunately a camera is not a mirror. I'm going to use a deeper purple on the outer corners just to smoke it out give it a bit of depth and another shade to work with makes my eyes pop a bit when I use a darker shade within the summer palette for eyeshadows and then I blend need a dark I need a bit more here just blend it all in blend it all out Byron might bark and growl at the window. Apologies for that. My eyes look like they're popping in the mirror already. Actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with an eyeliner, a navy eye pencil from number seven. I need this mirror. So I can look closer.
I'm going to also do a bit under the eyes, carefully, just make a faint line. I don't want it to be too strong, so I'll just do dots of it here and there. makes the eyes pop. Okay, now mirror it again and just apply the mascara. The other side. It's all evenly distributed. The side. Just to check them. While I wait for that to dry, I'm going to take my concealer from number seven Hydroluminous range and do the under eyes. I think when you do purple eyeshadow especially, it's important to use a concealer because the purple can transfer under the eyes and it can make it look a bit, your uh, under eyes look darker. So this just counteracts any purple that might have transferred or fallen. I just clean up the eye area as well. Thankfully for this one, I don't need the smaller mirror. I take some extra concealer and I just I do my upper lip area to brighten that up. I know that this isn't quite the right concealer. You do need a heavy duty concealer like a spot concealer more for other areas of the face but this is the only concealer I have so I just use this one. I am loving this eye makeup. It does need a bit more blending once the mascara has dried but I like it so far. I like how it's making my eyes pop. And then if I do a lipstick we just go and get the lipstick. Now with Valentine's Day, I think that you can use any point of red within your season. If you're a summer, you can use a cool red, a plum pink and a rose pink. If you're a spring, use your warm red, the coral or a warm pink. With a winter, is a winter, you can use your burgundy, cool red, I think more of a bright red. Or you can use the uh, bright pink, like fuchsia kind of pinks. And with, as an autumn, you can use warm red, coral and rust. For me, I'm going to use my cool red, which is a soft cherry. Take the mirror again, just the small mirror. Just apply that. Unfortunately, I don't have any lip liner, so this will have to do. I remember when I used to apply bright red lipstick, you wouldn't see my eyes, but I think with this one, 
it's so much better for my eyes and with my skin colour because I don't look pale I actually have colour in this lipstick because it's soft enough I'm going to blend that eyeshadow a bit more as well a bit more depth I think I think this is a bit light <clears throat> I'm just going to have to pack it on, aren't I? Because this isn't the very, this isn't the darkest of purple, so I'm really having to make this work. There we go. I warned you it would happen at some point. Don't have to go heavy on the inner corners, just smoke it out on the outer corners, then blend make it look more seamless. And now I'm going to use a lipstick as a blusher. Just take a little bit, put it right in the centre, like that. Just add a bit of sheen a bit of light to my makeup. Lovely. Now I'm going to blend it out a little bit just so it's not a harsh centre. Okay, now I'm going to use the Raspberry Shimmer Lipstick as a blusher. Just take a bit like that. And put it on the cheeks and I build up a bit more if I need it. I've actually already done this blusher, but I did it incorrectly with the camera because it was um, on a times one well, uh, uh, magnification. I couldn't think of the word there. Uh, and now I just do a bit of raspberry shimmer. To the red lipstick just to soften it and give it a, a touch of glamour. Actually this makeup's gone a little bit pink with the lipstick so I'm gonna use the red again make it more red again <laughs> because I already did this once and uh, like I said the camera the camera magnification went wrong. Oh, God. Just need a bit of concealer on the other lip because I went over the lip. Okay. Also, if you have a warm undertone, make sure that you pick pick more golden peach or corally undertoned blushes rather than the cool ones which look more pink, plumish or bluish because if you pick if you pick the cool ones what you'll find is is that your skin might look a bit grey and it'll steal colour from your face and your eyes won't pop as much. Just another side note for you guys. Just an additional note for you. If you're doing your eyeshadow make sure that if you are warm toned you stick to more of your browns and golds for the eyeshadows. Warm greens, you know, and turquoises and aquas rather than purples or silvers or anything like that because that can make your skin look grey. But of course you can use any makeup you want. You can use any colour you want. I'm just giving you this note as from you know from a colour analysis point of view. Okay, that was the whole Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe for some more content and leave respectful comments or questions down in the comment section below. And I'll see you again with some more videos.
Take care. Bye.